Is it time for me to leave the Democratic Party or am I being dramatic? Before I dig deep into why this question continues to linger in my head, if I ever decide to leave the Democratic Party, that does not automatically equate to me joining the Republican Party because it's almost like I'm in between a rock and a hard place right now. The way that the Democratic Party is moving and the direction they're going, I just do not relate to that no more. I can't relate to that no more. I understand like within time and within age you learn and you grow and you get wisdom and so forth and so forth. As I get older, not only am I learning more about myself, but I'm getting closer to Christ. I'm learning more about what I want out of this life and I'm starting to see things for what they are. Hence why I'm starting to question, is the Democratic Party for me? Like, am I the problem? Am I in the wrong position? Am I in the wrong party? Or are they just so far gone? That's the question that I continue to juggle in my mind. However, the same way I feel like I can't relate to the Democratic Party, I can't really relate to the Republican Party either. There are things that I do relate to when it comes to the right, especially when it comes to how important faith is. Me as a follower of Christ, and as I continue to get closer to God, I cannot even emphasize the importance of faith. Back to the question at hand, is it time for me to leave the Democratic Party? There are multiple reasons why this question continues to linger in my mind. The first thing is the Democratic Party is not what it used to be. The Democratic Party is not what I grew up in. I truly believe right now the blind is leading the blind. There's like no foundation. There's no backbone. I can honestly say comfortably at least 80% of Democratic seat holders, they don't even believe the words coming out of their mouth. It's almost like they're trying to gaslight themselves to believe the words and the policies that they're pushing. Two, the Democratic Party has gotten so like off the scale. The moment we started conversating and entertaining the idea of allowing kids to transition as a minor, that's whenever I knew this, this may not be for me. I knew right then and there, they lost their marbles. They generally lost their marbles. There's no way we can look at the Democratic Party now in 2024 and say this is the same Democratic Party in the 90s. A party that was once like anti-war, a party that was once freedom of speech, a party that was once pro-democracy, it's almost like we are none of that right now. We're funding like how many wars as we speak? Two? Three? The same party that pushed democracy is the same party that is trying to indicate and dictate how people should vote. And if you don't vote a certain way, you're this, that, and a third. And I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm genuinely over it. Side note, I went to the African American Museum that's located in Washington, DC. And there was a quote that stuck with me. I forgot who said it. The quote was, they will try to keep African Americans physically strong while keeping them mentally weak. And when I read that quote, I was like, hold on, hold on. It just clicked. That is somewhat of what we are seeing right now, whether we want to admit it or not. Black folks, we have to come together and at least acknowledge truth. Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, we have to admit a lot of the policies that the Democrats are pushing up, they do truly believe within themselves they're, they're helping us. Or at least I would like to think that they truly believe that they're helping us. They're doing more harm than good. They look at black people like we're incompetent, like we're not capable of, like we're we're like a second class citizen, like they need to hold our hand through life. Like, like I just don't get it. Another thing that bothers me within the Democratic Party is the undertone racism that we don't acknowledge, y'all. It's almost like this sense of entitlement. And I've spoken about this in my previous videos, but I'm going to speak about it again because it really, really irks me. And the fact that people continue to ignore it just irks me even more, especially people in the party. It's just like, it's so easy for us I'm not even going to say us. It's so easy for them to point fingers at the other side and call them racist and call them A, B, and C. And I'm just like, have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Have you checked yourself? Have you um, self-evaluated yourself? 
Another thing within the Democratic Party is the lack of accountability. Since Trump left office, the whole party has been rubbing me off the wrong way. Why are we basing the identity of the Democratic Party based off of Trump's shortcomings? We've lost the foundation of the party. We stopped making it about the people and made it about a person. And I just don't like that. One of my recent videos, I reacted to The View. And within The View, they were having a conversation whether Biden or Trump should debate. And within the whole conversation, they kept making it about Trump and making it about Trump. And they were almost as if pretty much excusing the idea that Biden does not have to debate Trump if he did not want to. And in that moment of watching, it made me realize not only do we lack self accountability, but we are also walking contradictions because some of the stuff that we allow Biden to go through and we allow him to get away with, I kid you not, if Donald Trump did half of the things or said half of the things Joe Biden did, in which he did in a sense, but if Donald Trump said, you're not black if you vote for me, like, or if you're not black, if you vote for Joe Biden, we would not hear the end of it. We would not hear the end of it. My problem is, is that people continue to look at Joe Biden as a savior. And it's not necessarily Joe Biden. It's almost like a cultish movement. And that's pretty much why I can't really relate with the Democratic Party. And I can't relate to the Republican Party either because it's almost like people are moving as if they're in a cult. And it's really weird. I don't look at none of these people as my saviors. The government is a resource, not your savior. Jesus saves, not people. A lot of these policies that they're implementing, it keeps the black community in a position to where we will always need them. We will always seek them. We will always rely on them. And that is not something that I like. <laughs> Honestly speaking, that is not something that I stand for. That is not something that I'm even going to pretend that it's okay. For example, Republicans, they are anti what they consider welfare state. They don't like government assistance. They don't like none of that. Me personally, I truly believe our tax dollars should be used as helping hands for those who are in unforeseen or um, unfortunate situations and predicaments. I truly don't have a problem with government assistance. I think it's it helps a lot of people out, whether it's food stamps, whether it's WIC, whether it's Medicaid, all of the above. I truly believe that we are put in this earth to help each other out one way or another. What they do is they'll add regulations and restrictions for certain things, keeping people in a position to where they have no choice but to not want to seek better. Is this party for me? Do I have to be the one to leave or can they just fix themselves? Because it is literally unrecognizable. Let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Follow me on my social media. This is Uduak Connecting People with Policy. I love y'all all. God bless y'all. Toodles.